In this second tutorial for Born Harbor cycle, I'm actually going to find numbers uh, and plug it in and tell you where you can find those numbers. So I'm going to go after sodium chloride, sodium solid in standard form, chlorine is a diatomic gas, put them together to create one mole of sodium chloride, table salt, solid, delta H formation, you need half as much, so we do that. Uh, next thing to do is I'm going to break sodium chloride into uh, ions, gaseous form. And that's known as delta H lattice, which in this problem I like to find out what's the value for delta H lattice. Uh, if you remember, we are, um, it, it produces a chloride ion, gaseous, plus sodium cation, or ion, gaseous. Now we need to close the loop, so I go after sodium. I'm going to atomize it first, make it into sodium uh, atom, gaseous form, and then ionize it. So first I make it into sodium gaseous delta H atomization. And then I'm going to do the first ionization energy, remove one mole of electron from the gaseous atom. I'll do the same thing to chlorine. So first I'm going to atomize it. And then I'm going to gain or add one electron to it. So first I have to give you separated gaseous atoms of chlorine, delta H atomization, and then I'm going to add one electron known as electron affinity. Now let's see what terms you don't have. So the terms in red are usually provided. Delta H formation uh, you don't have, so I'll give the value for you. This is negative 411 kilojoules per mole. Uh, atomization of metal you usually don't have, so I give you this value too. It's positive 107 kilojoules per mole. Uh, delta H lattice, let's assume this is our question. We'd like to solve for it. Now the other informations you have and you should be able to find. Now let's see where we can find it. Delta H ionization of sodium and electron affinity of chlorine, you can find it in table 7. So if you go to table seven of your booklet, uh, read the legend carefully, first ionization on the upper left, electron affinity on upper right. So I go after my sodium and I see 494, whether you see it or not. This is the information for, for the ionization energy of sodium. Electron affinity, I go for chlorine. The first one is given to us only the first one, negative 364. So let me go back to the slide and put those numbers up. So this is positive 494 kilojoules per mole, and this is negative 364 kilojoules per mole. Now, delta H atomization of chlorine for diatomic gases, you should also find it. That's table 10, average bond enthalpies. If you go after chlorine, you see it's 242, meaning that if you take chlorine covalently bound to chlorine, break it into Cl gas and Cl gas, you need to spend 242 kilojoules per mole. But I only want one of them, so what I'm going to do is go after half of this, and that you should be able to do it, and it's positive 121 kilojoule per mole. For your covalent diatomics, uh, delta H atomization is simply half average bond enthalpy. So I'm going to take 121 and put it for this one, plus 1, 2, 1. I have all my information. All I need to do is solve for delta H lattice. Remembering that this pathway to give you uh, the fragments of ion, remember I called it root 1, 
is equal to the second pathway, which is you take the same uh, sort of elements and you go to the fragments to give you this. So this is root number two. These two pathways or steps should be exactly identical. So let's just plug in. So delta H lattice is simply equal to, uh, I'm going to add delta H F and then I'm going to take it away. So delta H F plus delta H lattice is equal to delta H atomization of sodium plus delta H atomization of chlorine plus delta H ionization energy of sodium plus delta H electron affinity of chlorine. Now I'm going to subtract delta H F from both sides. So minus delta H formation of sodium chloride minus delta H formation. These two terms go away. So let's just plug in our values. So delta H lattice, delta H atomization of sodium is, is given to us 107. You cannot find it in your data booklet. Uh, delta H atomization of chlorine was half the bond enthalpy. You have to find it. Delta H electron uh, ionization energy of sodium, you find it in table seven. Delta H electron affinity, also table seven, the only exothermic right now. Minus delta H F, so minus a minus 411. When you do this, you will get 771 kilojoule per mole. So that's delta H lattice for sodium chloride. I hope this is clear.